Hey everyone, it's Federico here. A dear patron of mine asked me how we can do like speech to text in Max MSP. So basically you would uh, give it uh, an audio containing some uh, speech and the machine would write down this speech into text. And uh, the easiest way that came to my mind for doing that is to use a node script and interact with one of the multiple online platforms that do that using machine learning and artificial intelligence. So the first one that I found is this one from Google called Google Speech. And let's see how this works. Now, let me record some audio and we're going to test that. Hello, my name is Federico. Cool. The audio is five seconds long. That's the length of the buffer that I've set here, milliseconds. So let's play it out. Hello, my name is Federico. Cool. Beautiful. So now I'm going to write it to the hard disk and I'm just going to call it test.wav. Save it, replace the old file. And then if I click here on script start, the script will communicate with Google and give us the transcription of this audio. Great, seems to be working fine. So let's see how we can do that with the Google Cloud text to speech. So the first thing we need to do is to go on Google Cloud and you can use whatever API, you don't need to use Google Cloud. That's just uh, the first one I found. It's kind of the, uh, I think it's kind of easy to access. So that's what I went for, but you can use, uh, there is like Mozilla, there is like OpenAI, a bunch of other stuff. So the first thing we need to do is to create a new project. So what I'm going to do is to go here, click on uh, the name of the project, go with new project, and let me call it like uh, text to, uh, sorry, actually it's the other way around, speech to text, create, and there it is. Let me click on it, and now I'm in the new project. Now, what I need to do is to enable the billing for this project because we are not going to get billed, but Google wants to enable the billing. Otherwise, the magic will not happen. So I guess we should go here into billing. And this is all stuff that <laughs> took me quite a while to get. Uh, then account management. And then this project. Oh, the billing seems to be already enabled. Otherwise, you should have seen enabled billing. Okay, cool. So if you don't have disable billing but enable billing here you just enable it now we go again here and we go into api and services library we go into cloud the speech to text api there's a lot of other apis this is just the one i'm going to use now so enable it and now it is enabled now we need to set up the authentication for this api so what i'm going to do is to go again here go into I am and admin, go into service accounts. And what I'm going to do is to create a service account. And I'm just going to call it whatever, like Federico speech to text or something. We we'll just create and continue. And then we need to give it a role and we need to give it the role of cloud speech client. That's the role that we need for uh, interacting with the API as a client and continue. And I think this was it. This is an optional step. We don't need to do that. So cool. Now this is my key file. You will have your own. Now what I'm going to do is to click on it. Then I'm going to click on key and then I'm going to add a key, create a new key uh, with the JSON key type and it's been downloaded to my computer. Cool. Okay, so that's all we needed to do for the moment on Google. Now I created a new folder on my desktop and inside this folder there is this key that has just been downloaded. And now, thanks to ChatGPT, I have just created this script, which you can find on my Patreon for free, so you don't need to ask yourself ChatGPT, but you could do that as well. And what this script does is that it takes this Google credential that I just downloaded and it uses it as an environment uh, variable, which is going to be automatically read by Google when we call the transcribe audio function. So then I also included the Max API. And then we require also this package, which is called Google Cloud slash speech. And then we require also the file system with FS. Then create a new speech client. This is something from the Google speech package. 
and then we transcribe the audio. We need the file name, which is the path of the file on our computer. I'm on Mac, by the way, uh, if you didn't notice yet. So this is how the path will look on Mac, desktop, and then the folder, and then the audio file. And then the script goes on, we read the file, we transform it in, into a string with the base64 and, and then there is a configuration object here, so linear CDG means that this is 16 bits per sample and the sample rate is for 44100 on my Macs, the, because I record in the, the audio files with Macs, so I'm using the sample rate on Macs and the language of the audio is going to be English then these we leave it all like that and then it calls this uh, client to recognize with the request and then we get the transcription after the promises as returned and uh, then we outlet it and we post it to the max console cool and here is calling the function with a catch for errors cool so this works i know that this works so let's create the max patch from scratch so what I need to do is to create a node script and give it the file, so speech to text toot.js. The file needs to be in the same folder. At the moment there is now this file. So what I'm going to do is just uh, copy here, create a new text file, paste my script. I'm going to save it in the same folder where I have the max part and the, and the authentication key. And this is toot speech to text toot there it is so if i now delete and recreate that uh, now finds the file and can read it so what we need to do now is to say script npm in it because we need to download this uh, google cloud speech so we need to um initialize the npm package manager so if you now look inside our folder now you can see that that's created this package json which looks like that there is uh, not really any information about uh, the package, but this is needed because now we can go in our patch and by the way, let me copy all the stuff to record the audio. So we can go in our patch and say script npm install and then we need to say the name of the package, which is at Google Cloud Speech. And let's see if this all works out. So let's check out our folder again. And as you can see, it has downloaded the Google speech package, which is pretty big. As you can see, indeed it's 22 megabytes. Whoa, cool. So let's now go back to the patcher. Let's record some audio. This is a meaningful text. Okay, I'm going to write these. Um, not as a if, but as wave. I don't know if this is super important, but uh, I think the model works good with wave. So let's keep it wave. And I'm going to call it test. So now if I say script start, I think this is the command for node script. Uh, let's see, this should now give us something. And indeed it worked. Uh, I didn't, I just printed it on the console, but there we go. This is a meaningful text. Cool. So I guess this is it for this tutorial. Very brief, very concise, I hope. Not necessarily only for this API, but maybe if you want to work with other APIs, this maybe gives you an idea of how this should be done. In any case, remember that ChatGPT will help you with everything. But I hope this video also gave you an overview and was interesting to see how this all works together with Max. Thank you very much for watching. Download the patch for free. Everything is completely for free. Of course, you will need to create a new project on Google Cloud and get your credentials, but the script and the patch are for free on the load on my Patreon. So thanks a lot again, and I will see you in the next video. Have fun. Ciao.